Developing story, the U.S. steel plant in Granite City announcing it is laying off approximately 1,000 workers. News 11's Kelly Hoskins is live in Granite City with more on this news. Kelly? Well, Mike, we're right outside of the facility. Now, those 1,000 employees that you're talking about, it includes 400 who were already temporarily laid off back on October the 1st, plus now the additional 600. Here's what we know so far. Now, we're told that the union will hold some informational meetings to assist these employees here. Uh, this move comes uh, after uh, months that U.S. Steel Temporary Idle Furnace B in a move it called risk mitigation in response to the now resolved UAW strike. Now, employees here at Granite City facility who may be impacted by this, they have already been notified. Meanwhile, shares of the U.S. still are up more than 53 percent over the past five years as the company solicits potential buyers. Now, some community leaders say they are just sad to hear this news about this announcement here at U.S. Steel. And here's a statement that they released, uh, U.S. Steel released this afternoon, and it reads in part, This action was taken in order to help ensure melt capacity is balanced with our order books, and accordingly, the company has sent the required notices to employees who potentially may be affected. We thank our employees for their contributions and will keep them informed throughout this process. And once again, the union, they're encouraging these employees to reach out for some job search assistance as well as training. Reporting live from Granite City, Kelly Hoskins, News 11.